Welcome to another episode of Faith Explorations, the podcast where we delve deep into the teachings and principles of Christianity and embark on a transformative journey through the realms of faith and spirituality. I'm your host, Kenneth Garcia. In episode 97, we're delving into a topic that affects millions of people around the world, anxiety. In particular, we'll explore what the Bible has to say about anxiety, its causes, and how we can battle it with the guidance of God's Word. But our exploration doesn't end here. For more insights that can enrich your journey of faith, be sure to visit us at BibleKeeper.com. So without further ado, let's dive in. Each of us faces situations in life that make us uneasy or fearful. Anxiety is a common human emotion, and according to statistics, it's something that millions of Americans grapple with. But how does the Bible address this issue? Interestingly, the term anxiety itself is not used frequently in the Bible. It appears eight times in the English Standard Version, seven times in the New International Version, but not at all in the King James Version. Instead, the Bible uses synonyms like worry, distress, heaviness, care, and trouble. So, what does the Bible say about anxiety? Let's dive in. When we turn to the Bible, we find numerous instances where individuals grapple with worries and fears. One example is David, who, in Psalm chapter 13, cries out to the Lord in agony, but ultimately finds strength in God. This suggests that, as Christians, we should trust the Lord even when anxiety and fear try to pull us in the opposite direction. In 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7, Peter encourages believers to cast their anxieties on the Lord, for He cares for us. This act of surrendering our anxieties implies trust in God and His divine plan. In Matthew chapter 11, verse 28, Jesus promises that if we bring our burdens to Him, He will give us rest. This seems to suggest that we should turn to the Lord with whatever is causing us anxiety, and in return, He will replace our burdens with peace. In Matthew chapter 6, verses 25 to 26, Jesus teaches us not to be anxious about what we wear, eat, or drink, emphasizing that God cares for His creation, and even more so for His children. The Bible is filled with examples of people who faced anxiety but found strength in their faith. Abraham had doubts about God's plan, but persevered to become the patriarch of the faithful and righteous. Moses, who was terrified of confronting Pharaoh, sought guidance from God and helped lead his people to freedom. Esther, too, grappled with anxious thoughts when appearing before the ruler, but through prayer and fasting, she saved her people from annihilation. Even Jesus himself experienced anxiety the night before his crucifixion, but found solace in prayer, knowing that he would overcome death for the world. So, does God care about our anxieties? Absolutely. Psalm chapter 139 verse 23 reminds us of God's deep understanding of our entire being, from our conception to our wanderings on this earth. God loves us, desires to provide for us, reassure us, and grant us peace. The most well-known passage about anxiety, found in Matthew's Sermon on the Mount, advises us not to be overly concerned with worldly matters. Jesus asks which of you, by being anxious, can add a single hour to his life? This passage emphasizes that God is aware of our needs, even down to the basics like food and clothing, and we are encouraged to prioritize seeking the kingdom of heaven and His righteousness above all else. What does God say about the causes of anxiety? Anxiety can arise from various sources. First, fear is mentioned several times in the Bible, and it's essential to trust in God's plan, knowing that He is with us. Major life changes can trigger anxious thoughts but we're reminded that all changes are a part of God's plan and should be embraced. Lastly, feeling a loss of control can lead to anxiety, but we're reminded that God is ultimately in charge and we can cast our burdens upon Him. What does the Bible say about curing anxiety? When anxiety is the result of sin or mistakes, the Bible encourages us to seek reconciliation with God. Confession and repentance can lift the heavy burden of guilt, as mentioned in Psalm chapter 32. Verses 1 to 5. Failed relationships, fear of the unknown, or stressful situations can all lead to anxiety, but through prayer, trust in God, and a willingness to help others, we can find solace. In the New Testament, Jesus calms the disciples' storm tossed fears, reminding us that we have nothing to fear when we're with Him. We are also encouraged to support and provide the right response to fellow believers facing anxiety. 
In conclusion, the more time we spend communicating with God and giving Him our entire hearts, the less anxious we will feel. Anxiety is a natural human emotion, but the Bible teaches us that true faith in God is about trust and complete surrender to His will. By having faith in both ourselves and God, we can face any challenges that come our way with confidence. Anxiety need not define our lives when we have the strength of faith. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Faith Explorations. We hope you found this episode enlightening and that it brings you peace and guidance. Remember, in moments of anxiety, you can always turn to God for strength and solace. If you enjoyed today's discussion and want to explore more topics related to spirituality, be sure to subscribe to our podcast. Make sure to follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and TikTok. And visit us at BibleKeeper.com for more resources that will enrich your faith journey. Join us next time as we continue to explore matters of faith and spirituality. Until then, may God bless you abundantly.